the freaking Chinon CE4 with a Kickstar 28 2.8. It happens to be my new. I don't have the clout for Hasselblad to send me their new $13,000 100 megapixel digital camera. It looks pretty cool, but uh, that ain't me. So here we have a 1980, well, it's from the 1980s sometime. It's an SLR single lens reflex. Um, once, once was my grandpa's, which is pretty cool. Or my dad's, I'm not really sure. Probably my grandpa's. I have a Kickstar 28 2.8 on it. There's not much to say about this lens, honestly. I dug around on the internet and nobody really knows who manufactures it. Could be multiple different people using the same kind of Kickstar moniker. I don't really know. Um, it's cool. It's not bad. Has a aperture priority mode. Um, 60th of a second for a flash sync. Has a hot shoe. ISO 25 to 3200. Um, yeah, bulb mode, I think. Yeah, it does have a bald mode, so you can do long exposures. It's pretty cool. Requires batteries to work. There's none in there right now. It's, um, yeah. It's interesting, these old cameras. They just, it all came down to scans. <laughs> like there's, this camera's really cheap. You can get these lenses for $20 and you can see, um, I'll put a picture up here, but yeah, these scans are really nice. Um, I actually prefer the quality of some of these over my Bessa and Seven Artisans lens setup. A lot, actually. This one's really straight. There's not much distortion on this 28. And in my 35, there's lots of distortion below like F6 or something, or F5.6. I always say F6, F5.6. This is really nice. Um, I'm kind of surprised. I wish I would have used this camera earlier, especially because I really love the 28 mil focal length. It's a, it's a good focal length. Nice and wide. Also, 2.8 is pretty sharp, or pretty uh, pretty fast, which is nice when you're shooting indoors and whatnot. Although I've been using the flash a lot. Either way, I enjoyed it. Let's look at some photos. Let's look at some photos. A lot of Jane this week. We just went for a quick walk around our neighborhood because I mostly just wanted to test this camera out quick and see if it actually did work. So this is a pretty quick walk, but yeah, lots of Jane, some reflections of ourselves. A car, what else was there? Um, I went inside briefly and it got really, like there was a lot of humidity on the camera, so I took a photo of the cheese counter here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think that's it, really. They're nice photos, I enjoy them. It's a fun little camera. I don't know if I'd recommend it to anybody, just because the whole battery thing really sucks. It really, really sucks. I wish you could still use this camera completely manual, but you can't. I don't know what... There's a lot of cameras like that, and I don't really get it. Like one of the reasons I love my Besta is because, yeah, there is a battery in it, there is a meter, but if the battery dies, you can still use it. It's fine. Just guess, really. Which is all you really need to do. Um, oh, it's a bayonet. It's a universal bayonet mount, or a K-mount, or Pentax K-mount. Yeah. I don't know. Fun little camera. Good little experiment. And I think now that I've used it and I know it works, I've been trying to find a camera to go shoot my grandparents' house. Um, yeah, I want to take a bunch of photos of my grandparents' house. And I need to do that really right, like, right away. And I think I'm going to use this. I was originally going to use my RB67, but I just, I don't like that camera. I'm not a fan of that camera. At all. Hate me, I don't care. It's just a <laughs> camera. Whatever. I think that's everything. Thank you very much. I love you. You're beautiful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.